We are introducing Polyform, an interactive tool for reconstructing and analyzing the intergalactic gas and dark matter filaments, which together are known as the cosmic web. Polyform uses the Monte Carlo Fizzer machine algorithm, inspired by the foraging behavior of the Fizzer polycephalum organism, also known as slime mold. In this video, we demonstrate a typical fitting scenario using 37.6 thousand galaxies retrieved from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey catalog. This corresponds to the use case 2 described in detail in our paper. We begin with a global view of the source data rendered as a red point cloud in 3D. At this moment, we can visually identify only vague structural patterns in the data. We now initialize 10 million Monte Carlo Fizzer machine agents randomly in the vicinity of the data. After starting the simulation, the agents immediately begin navigating the dataset, tracing a visible structure. The sensing distance parameter, the main scale parameter, is set to 10 megaparsecs. The density distribution and the energy of the fit are visualized in the bottom left corner. At this point, the fitting has converged to a local optimum, but we see that the alignment with the source data is far from perfect. We adjust the sensing distance down to 2.5 megaparsecs, a value previously calibrated to reference data. We observe a rapid change in the fit, revealing fine structure details that were not present before. Switching to the trace mode, which is a volumetric visualization of the spatiotemporal agent density, this is ultimately the main output of Polyform. We see in the energy plot that the structure has stabilized. Being satisfied with it, we stop the fitting process. And this is the configuration we will keep for the rest of the session. We now proceed to visual analysis. First, we switch to the combined mode, visualizing the agent trays and the data at the same time to check their alignment. For this, we use the trimming functionality to isolate a thin slice which can be better inspected up close. Indeed, we now observe excellent alignment with the galaxy data. Next, we use the highlighting tool to emphasize a narrow range of trace density values. The highlighted interval has been chosen to show the transitional region of interest between the circumgalactic and the intergalactic medium. We observe that the reconstruction is consistent with this expectation, that is, the highlighted region lies on the outskirts of the galactic environments. Next, we switch to the segmented trace visualization. In this mode, the trace density is divided into three color-coded brackets. High-density regions corresponding to the galaxies and filament cores are colored red. Transitional density values, similar as in the highlighting mode, are colored green. And finally, the low-density outskirts of the intergalactic medium, all the way to the edges of the voids, are colored blue. We again navigate around the cross-section to explore the spatial density distribution in different regions. Now we again restart the full view of the dataset to see the trace field in its full complexity and check for overall consistency. We are slicing the data again, now in the horizontal direction. This is to check that there are no gaps or other inconsistencies, and that the filamentary structure is interconnected, as we expect it to be. Finally, we switch back to the trace density view. We increase the opacity to create a better sense of depth in order to examine the spatial relations between the individual filaments. We are again sliding across the reconstruction to inspect data in this modality. Everything seems in order, so at this point we can export the trace density field and conclude the session. Thank you for watching.